everyone doing? Today I'm going to show you how you could play LAN in your own home. Now for anybody that's new to the word LAN, LAN basically is a private server that you play from the router that you have in your house. So anyone that's connected to the same router in the house, you could basically make a server and you could basically play with each other. So basically the, ser the router makes a LAN server basically means that anyone from the house can connect. Now, a lot of people I've seen to have some problems just as me. So that's why I made this video so I can sh show you guys how to do it. Now, my brothers are playing right now. They're playing on their server. We're going to click multiplayer and it's going to scan for games. Typically, when you're playing LAN mode, it's going to pop out right away. But for some reason, it just never did. My brothers are playing wireless and I'm playing wired. So another thing, if people don't know what that means, wire basically means that you're you connected your computer with the Ethernet cable and wireless basically means wireless. You're you're connected through Wi-Fi. Um, for some reason, when they play together, they could play together. They, they could find each other's server easily. I'm not sure why it's that, but they could find it. But for some reason, I can't they can't see my server and I can't see theirs. So this method has worked very well for me. But before we go to the method i want to show you guys one of the things that most videos on youtube usually talk about and this is to go to the control panel go to system and securities and go allow program and then change settings and go to java allow home and home and work and allow public and the same thing with minecraft allow home and work and allow public you say okay and bada beam bada boom but like I showed you before, it's they're still they're playing on a private server on LAN. They're playing LAN right now, and I still can't get into their game. So it was getting frustrating until I found a method. Until I found this one method that works flawlessly. So let us begin right now. You're going to have to type in CMD. You're gonna press enter or you're gonna press or you're gonna click on it, whatever you prefer. Once you get this, once you get this you're gonna have to do some typing so we're gonna zoom in I'm gonna tell you what to type and I'm gonna I'm gonna basically go over with you what you gotta do once you're in here you're gonna want to type IP config and after you press IP config you're gonna press enter once you get this list, you're going to get a, if you're playing on wired, you're going to get a big long list. Keep in mind for that. And if you're playing wireless, you only get one list and you only get one IPv4 address. Keep in mind, you're going to only focus on this one on the first list where the ethernet adapter local area connection is at. You're going to want to get this one. I know there's another one down here, but do not ignore the ones under. You want to go for the first one, the IPv4 address. As you can see, I, I blocked my stuff because um, through safety issues, people could actually hack through your IP address. So that's why I covered it. So um, you want to get this IPv4 address. It's going to be a bunch of numbers with dots. It'd be like like an example would be 33.444.1.111. That's not the actual numbers they're going to be, but just telling you how many digits it would be between the dots so you want to get this one make sure to get this ipv4 address now we're going to show you right now how you could use that to direct connect with your wireless or wired counterpart get that ipv4 address you want to click multiplayer and you want to click direct connect as you can see i already put the ipv4 address and um Basically, that's where you put it, and then you put a colon. A colon is two dots, so make sure to put that. And also, when someone starts a LAN game, I'm going to show you guys right now, right about now. So, I'm going to show you guys right now. Make sure that the person that's hosting your game, you have their IPv4, and also make sure that you have their port number. And if you guys don't know how to use LAN, you're going to just press the escape button, and you're going to open LAN. You're going to set up, set the world however you want, create a survival, whatever you want, start LAN, and you'll get a five-digit port number. Make sure to keep in mind, people, when you're playing on someone's um, game th through Direct Connect, you're going, you're always going to have to change the five numbers because every time someone opens a LAN, even if it's the same world, it's always going to change the port number. I'm not sure why it does that, but that's how Minecraft works. It's going to change the port number every every time you open LAN. So every time someone starts a LAN game, 
they're going to receive those five digits. So the host that's hosting it, keep in mind, you want to get the you want to get the IPv4 from the host and you want to get the port number for the host. Do not just get your own IPv4 number and type it in there. You want to make sure to get the actual IPv4 and the actual port number from the person that's going to be hosting the LAN. So after that, you put the port number, you join enter, and boom, you're in the game. Where are you guys? Oh, there's creepers. This is my brother's server. As you can see, we're playing. And um, basically, there we go. You enter. That's how you enter a LAN server. For any more. Oh, there's a house over there. For any more info, make sure to leave a comment below. And hopefully, this helps you guys be able to actually, you know, play in and basically between people in your house and in your router. Also, another thing I should mention is. If you have any, if you're having problems, please leave a comment below. I'll try to help you guys. Um, but this is this method should work very easily. Here's my brothers. They're down here, just chilling like a villain and trolling. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until then, I'll see you guys around, and thank you very much for watching.